Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Cave Diver React. My name is Gus. I'm Woody. And today we're going to be reacting to one that people have been requesting about for what seems to be months now. I've been uh, staying away from this video, mainly because we already reacted to one of Joe Oceanside's videos before. He did a video at Hospital Hole. And he was calling it a dangerous cave. And I was like, dude, this is a sinkhole. It's not even a cave. And anyway, uh, this was back in February. I think we had like 280 subscribers back in February. It's um, been that much growth. Yeah, I was looking back wow. at it when, when we recorded that video. We had 280 subscribers and he had like 7,000 or something like that. Uh, somebody sent them the video and I, well, I think actually I reached out to him on Facebook and I was like, Hey, I'm going to react to one of your videos. You're probably not going to like it mainly because he was exaggerating on every point he made. Um, and I was just kind of like saying like, look, I'm going to say you're, you're claiming that you're in a dangerous cave is not a cave. You're, you know, claiming that you can do it because you're a expert diver you're not like you know i'm i'm you know you're not gonna like it so the guy um you know he responded and he actually shared in his page saying like oh look an expert uh, cave diver react to my video whatever um so he had seven thousand now today we have over thirty thousand he has about twenty four thousand so we passed him in number of subscribers and one of the things that i think is interesting is that after talking to him about this because he keeps posting videos about how he's in dangerous caves <clears throat> and he's not like he called very recently. He posted a video from a very, very dangerous cave in Florida. Guess where he was? Don't tell me Blue Grotto. Devil's Den. Devil's Den is where we take our uncertified open water <laughs> students to get certified. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He people don't know, and that's the problem right. with some of these videos. They just believe what they hear. He, that's not fair. I don't he think he said that the air bell inside Blue Grotto was a hidden air bell deep inside a cave in Florida. Should we now say what it is? Because uh, I don't like to leave people hanging. No, I said it on my last video. It's an air bell at 30 feet at Blue Grotto. With it's, a rope going right to it from the surface that you see almost immediately when you enter. It's the, one of the number one features of that cave, of, of, of that site, because it's not even a cave. It's a cavern. And it's all over their map when it's you walk in. It's lit up by lights, yeah. underwater lights. It's a main feature. I mean, it's not hidden. It's the main feature. You it's just crazy. put your mask underwater and right. there it is. So I reached out to this guy and I said, man, like you, you have a very likable personality. Like I don't think you need to be lying for clickbait. I don't think you need to be exaggerating to get people to watch your videos. Just be yourself. And, you know, you go in these adventures. They look pretty interesting. Just be like, hey, look, I went to Blue Grotto and it was a cool adventure. And I think people will watch your videos sure. and will respect it. Definitely. Um, well, he posted this one. And obviously, he claimed to be in a very dangerous cave with no cave diving gear whatsoever. And he claims the water was rising as they were inside of it. So this is an underwater cave typically, but the water levels were so low. So they were kind of like sump. It, it was like a sump. So they were they were in there. And if you look at and I'll, I'll put the picture, you know, in, in the video for people to see it. If you look at the kind of the the the. Um, you know, the picture for the video, um, you will see that it says like water is rising at no point of the video. The water seems to be rising. Anyway, okay. let's watch. So this is actually a river that is fed by a whole bunch of springs, crystal clear water coming out of these springs. Now they're doing some work on the river somewhere. So they opened it up and they drained the river down lower. So we're about six feet lower than usual. So normally all of these trees that you see here, these trees are all have the water level like five feet up from here. So normally we'd be underwater, but it's all exposed now. And this has exposed some secret caves out here. Ooh. I do have my snorkel secret. and my mask. No one knows so about these. Get down and get under any ledges. I've got my Orca Torch D530 dive light. Right, I'm bringing good. it in so we get some good lighting in there. That's and legit. I've got a backup light as well, because when you go in a cave, you do not want to go in with only one light. You've got to have a backup if your light goes out. If you don't have a backup, you're stuck. For everybody that doesn't know what a cave is, let me just add this one quick comment to our 
we have mostly non-divers. A cave means you are going into an overhead environment. It's as simple as this where the light no longer penetrates. I don't know if he's going into a cave. He said he is. But that's why Gus was sort of highlighting a cave. It's a cave if he's going into an overhead environment where there's no more light penetration. This is the entrance to the cave here and check this out. Look at this huge crack up here. Once they fill this back up with water, we'll never be able to get to see this cave like this again. Wow. Unless you dive. Up in here. This is amazing. We've got a lot of canoes in our way. I think we're gonna have to go around them or go under them. Looks awesome. Let's put this snorkel because how could I ever breathe? Wow, the water is so cool. The clear, it's amazing. Check this out here. We got some little passageways back in here. I don't know if you can see Woody, but there's line Whoa, throughout the whole cave. The secret cave this, that is already explored. Holes up in the roof here. If I was brave, I'd climb way up in there and see what's in there. But I'm not that brave. And I don't want to tear up my wetsuit climbing up this rock like this. So let's go down here. We're going to go down the main passageway. We got pools of water in here. And we is that line that I see there? That's yeah. Right. By the way, don't forget to pause. I know a couple of times you were talking and... But I only talk when he's not talking. Okay, but yeah. I think it's easier for folks. But what Gus is saying is if you see line in there like that, you can see the line down on the bottom. That means cave divers have laid line. That's right. a permanent line. It's not supposed to ever come out so that you could stay on that line if you went in and cave dived this cave. Which, by the way, this looks like a really cool cave to dive yep yep we got some small little hidden passageways oh. they're so hidden they have lines he's free diving down in the cave already i mean there's just cracks and crevasses everywhere it's amazing now again this is something that most people will never get the chance to see because this is always underwater so this is a once in a lifetime experience and this is absolutely incredible look at these caves here this is amazing. We have a lot of holes and secret passageways. Okay, we're sending Colton back because he's the smallest one of all of us. <laughs> Poor Colton, man. By the way, I'm sure you're thinking the same. This looks like a cool cave to dive. <laughs> it looks like a really cool cave to dive, and I'm actually enjoying his commentary. Yeah. I'm going to. That's what I'm saying. You, he I'm doesn't have to for, lie. I'm going to throw you for a loop. He's actually really good. Yes. I'd like to give him a compliment because it's like, if you're dry caving, this looks like a blast. And he's right. Absolutely. You wouldn't normally, most people, the vast, vast, vast majority of the world would never get to see this unless it went dry. And there are a lot of cool, okay, he uses the word secret passageways. I'm not finding what he's saying to be offensive at all. No. So, good job. So, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Beautiful. He compliments us a lot, by the way, in his channel. How far back does it go? A ways. It goes far. Yo, this is crazy. Don't get lost, guys. We've got little secret passageways here. Oh, look at this back in here. Yo, I want to go back in here. Beautiful. You guys, could you imagine if this was filled with water, how crazy this would be to get back in here if this was like all full of water? And if it was Sideways. full of water, everybody, exactly, Gus. I'm not kidding you. It's like just for reading my mind. Yeah. Those are pretty tight what we call restrictions. You would have to probably turn sideways because right now it's dry, but when it was if it was wet and you were just kicking all over the bottom you would silt that out. When it's wet, the silt's going to settle along the bottom. And without a line, man, you would have zero visibility quickly. So it's so funny. Gus was just like, looks like you would have to turn sideways to fit through there. And that's what makes cave diving need lots and lots of practice. This is not a, This does not look easy. Mm -mm. This looks pretty tight. It looks funny fun. you said that. Oh, it looks like a blast. Oh, yo, guys. Whoa. See, like, this is why I don't do dry caving. Like, I know you do it with David and stuff. And yeah. he, David invites me, like, every time he sees me. Yeah. 
Look how much he's struggling to do it. If this was flooded, I can swim sideways through that. No problem. Right? This guy is like, ah, struggling, like destroying his suit. Why? Why, you know, struggle so much? Flooded is way easier. <laughs> it, it's kind of like I tell David when I'm in them. It's like you're a kid inside of a big jungle <laughs> gym, tunnels, crawling around, getting muddy. Yeah. You know, it's really a blast. I it's get people, really fun. people commenting, it's like, I will never cave dive, but I can do dry caving. And I'm like, I'm the opposite. Well, I, I like don't both. dry cave. Cave dive, no problem. It's dry fun. cave? No, too much work. <laughs> work. Look at this. <laughs> that happens. Oh, man. Uh, these are the dangers of caving, but this is what we do. We need your heart pads today. You get the shots. I almost fell straight down this cave and busted my butt. But, uh,. My wetsuit saved me, man. I think I tore my wetsuit, but did you? I went down hard, man. I don't know. Well, this, my elbows went down. Yeah, hey, uh, here's a sleeping bat right here. I don't want to. What we do, to his point, is we only put the wetsuits on when we know we're going to be submerging through part of a dry cave that you actually have to swim through. Otherwise, we have what are called caving pants. They're actually special pants. And picture the butt almost like a grippy sandpaper hmm. just for that reason. Because a lot of times you're having to wedge your butt up against the rock and push your legs against the other rock so you can slowly slide down. And it doesn't just slide right down. It grips the rock as you're wow. sliding down. I wanted to add that in a wetsuit, a dry cave would be really slippery. I bet you would so bust you your butt So do you carry like up. what, like a backpack? Yeah, a dry, a dry bag. Oh, okay. I carry a dry bag. Wait, there's a bat? Oh, what? There's bats. Yo, there's a bat here. Yo, you guys, this is crazy. Why is he wearing his mask? Like, this cave, and Colton found a bat, man. Check this out. I didn't even see this little guy here. Look at this little guy. There's a little bat. That's a it's little cool. bat sleeping up there. Yeah. So if this cave is all Yo. of a sudden about to flood, I don't think it would be bat bat cave. This is unbelievable, guys. I've never seen anything like this. All right, so we don't want to disturb the bats because breathing air inside of the cave where the bats are pooping can be bad for your health. So don't, we're going to leave those bats alone. We don't want to disturb them. You guys all saw Batman and Bruce Wayne, man. You remember how that turned out. Right. I'm not going to uh, stop you it. You guys, when in doubt, go right. <laughs> it's only the right way. All right. We got to go the right way. Let's check it out. Not the wrong way. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Oh. I have to stop it. I'm picturing the sign. Go no further. You cannot breathe in this cave because there's bad poop. Go no further. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, let's okay. keep going. I'm telling you, it's so tight. My hips almost get stuck. Oh, All right, I'm Beautiful. going. I'm going down, okay? Oh. This is a crazy yeah, sure it was full of so water. water just know, but it's really flowing fun. continuously out of this cave because it's actually a spring. But we're going to get some tight places in here. Oh. 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 God. The springs are all right in the silt. Wow, look at this. Now, big passageway down here, and there's a big like river flowing out of it. It's basically spring fed. I'm gonna get down here and take a take a look, see what this looks like underwater. Very cool. Look at the line. Oh, awesome. Ooh. Gold line, by the way. And you see all this. You see all the silt on the bottom of you, and even in the water. That's what we have to avoid when we're cave diving. That's why cave diving is all about proper buoyancy and trim. You kick that stuff and it silts out immediately. Many times there's not a lot of flow. The water's stagnant and then you would immediately lose the line. And um, by the way, this looks really fun. This cave, look, dry, dry caving, this looks awesome. No. And it's beautiful. Um, pretty, pretty cool. There's a line right here. Now that line is a line that cave divers normally follow. So cave divers going down this hole, we're line this line to get them safely back out of this 
cave. That is crazy. Now look crazy. up here, there's a huge, huge crack exposed in the ceiling up here. This is unbelievable, you guys. Look at this. Wow. Do you see the arrows? Whoa. Like a peacock? Right, there's a line Double arrows? We don't want to damage that because cave divers need that to get in and out of this cave. Colton, bro, how you doing, man? Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? I have never seen anything like this in my life. What is in there? Uh -huh. Too deep? Maybe a velociraptor. <laughs> Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? <laughs> no, I'm just doing that for a hook. Hey, guys, now we'll be on the lookout here. There could be more bats up in these cracks here. Going back in here now. Look at this mud sinking up to my legs. That would all be silk. Mud. Yep. So the spring is probably not back here. Spring's probably behind us. Oh my gosh. Yo. You guys, this cave, this cave goes way, way back in there. This is a little scary, but it's very, very cool. They actually do comment a lot when you're when you're dry caving to be extremely careful if it's a cave that is known to be normally flooded because they can flash flood, not just from bad weather, but like he said, maybe the river's going to rise really quickly and so forth. So if that flash flooded on them, how do they get out? I mean, when I say flash flood, Gus, it rises really fast. I yeah. mean, you're sitting there watching it like a bathtub just going up. Yeah. If my batteries run out, that's going to be a bad day, man. I'm going to be stuck. Oh. There's a lot of hidden rocks, stalactites here. You've got to be careful. Now look at this. Beautiful. Look at those holes up in there. Those are battery holes for sure. Yo, what did you guys find back in here? Oh. So much work. I am thinking about one more thing. You know how when we're cave diving, we're constantly told in training, do not touch the top or the sides of the cave because you can damage it. Forget about the silt out. Yeah. We're trying to preserve the cave. Right. Are they touching the sides? Oh, my God. Right. So I'm just saying when you dry cave. But look at that a wet spider cave, right there. Too. Yeah, like, I don't know when was... There. When was the last time this cave was flooded? I, like a while. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this was flooded. Uh, right. And by the way, he was right. It's a cave. Recently. Remember at the beginning, we were wondering if it's a cave. Yeah. He's, absolutely, it's a cave. This is true. Yes. Rich. But to make it sound like it's about Rich, to flood. I got a rescue no. mission for you, brother. I dropped my dive light, man. <laughs> I dropped my dive light. Dude, my dive light, it's right here. It's right under me, but it's in luck. I can't see it, man. And if I lose this other light, dude, I'm stuck, bro. <laughs> right. Now listen, I'm not moving. I, I dropped the light right here. I was just trying to shut it off, and it, it slipped out, man. All Stupid. Right, see, this is why you don't go in caves without proper cave dive training. So, you know, bad stuff like this happens. But definitely don't go it alone. Always go with your buddies so they can look out for you. I'm a, I don't want to move because it's so silky. It's going to sink down in there, bro. Okay. So very gently feel around down there, okay? Yeah, I will. I'll do my best. Yeah. Let's wish me luck, man. Right, please. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Seriously, my knees are all the way down in the silt. So, like, if that light went down in the silt that deep, it's... I, I don't know how people cave dive in here, man. If you were to kick the silt up, dude, you lose all visibility in this cave. Like, that's insane. You would. That's why you don't. This is really dangerous if you think about it. Like, because if I lost that light, my other light went out. I'm sure. Sorry. So I don't know if you can see Woody back there, but there's two arrows. They're so still cool. in the same area, and they're opposite. So, so this is so this is a swim through or a, or a traverse. You can go in in one entrance and get out in another entrance. Yeah, that which is when, pretty awesome. So just to explain it, it, the arrows are opposite. It means it's an equal distance to an exit going either direction. That's, That's right. an arrow is always pointing to the nearest exit. Pretty cool. Yep. I found it, bro. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Woo. Save the dive. <laughs> oh, guys, I think I found a spring. Yeah. Yo, check this out. 
I think this is, I see fresh water. Yo, Rich, Rich. Yeah, well, let's see. Look at this. Guys, check this out. Yo, dude. Oh my I think goodness. you're right. All right, guys, check this out. We're going back in here. Oh my goodness. I think we found a secret passageway. Yo, this is crazy. Holy smokes, that's sick. Let me put my mask on. Yeah, just watch out for silt, for real. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. Uh -huh. Did he say watch out for silt? Oh, it's me. Is it oh. cool? The reason I keep saying careful there is because I'm worried about Flo taking him underwater somewhere where he didn't want to be and then silting out while he's breath holding. Careful, right? Like, mm, you know, <laughs> dangerous. Yo, Rich, that was crazy. I swim through a stick. Oh my gosh. Wow. Rich, this is wild. So Rich and I got way back in the cave. We found this great that Rich wants to come out. We are deep in the cave. Rich found a little hole here, he was free diving down. This is wild. That guy's gone. Remember, there's no light except for their light. Yeah. This makes me a little bit nervous watching. There's a line. Where's that stick? Come on back. Oh, there's a line and an arrow there. Okay. The other thing I'm wondering about is the air they're breathing in that one little room. Got to be careful because yeah. it, as remember recently Ed told us, that can quickly turn CO2. Yep. I can High turn into hypoxia. You can get a CO2 hit right in there and then that's a problem. So careful dude that was crazy okay rich is gonna take the camera and he's gonna dive down and show you what's in the bottom of this hole man this is unbelievable i wonder if it's just dirt he's going down to the cable for those bottom Fish. Mm -hmm. we, we see those often. Good breath holder. Oh boy. Don't go down there. Why not keep the snorkel in your mouth? Because when you hang on. free diving, they don't, you should not keep the snorkel in your mouth when you free dive because that can cause a CO2 build up quickly when you come up and breathe through that small pipeline. That could cause it easier to have a CO2 build it, up and go Isn't it more streamlined though? Mm -mm. Yeah. No, when you free dive, any of the free dive instructors, you'll, you do not want to snorkel in your mouth. Okay. Because of what I told you. I'm just curious. I don't want to be a free diving instructor or free dive ever. You want to get to that surface and have as much volume of air to keep you from going unconscious as possible. And that snorkel can have even the slightest amount of additional CO2 and it can make you go night night. So never free dive with a snorkel in your mouth. I won't. Yeah, like really good 
free divers. Dude, how far back are you going to go? I don't know. I'm going to go all the way as far as I can. <laughs> Let's see. Wish me luck, guys. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm going to turn my orca torch back on. Doing this in two weeks. Oh, this is so cool. it, Good for you. Wow. Not here, but in another place. Over there is where we came in. We're way back in the cave. It's dry over here. Rich went way back in there. We found some treasure already. So I'm going to go back over there and see what kind of treasure Rich found. And, and Gus, just to see if you would want to go, the ones we're doing with David, no. the only I way want to. out of them mm. is through what's called an ascender. You can't walk okay. back up to the surface. It's a yeah. dangling rope. Then cool. you have a device that helps you imagine slowly, step by step, ascend Let's not back. do that, ever. So we'll try that. Hang on, buddy. You're going to do it. Thank Yo, goodness. guys, look at this. We're way back in this dry cave. And the last time this thing was dry, I don't know how long ago it would have been, but we found some really, really old cans. Check this out here. Look at this. This is like an antique bottle in here, man. That's hold, the worst banquet beer. That's old school. Hold, hold up that bottle right there. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Give him a little Dude, artistic a cool room. Old glass bottle. Yeah. We got to take that out, man. Well, yeah, first off, curious. we're clearing trash out of here, but we got to take that, man. That's pretty cool. That should and not then, be in here. Look, I found a necklace. You found a necklace? Or something, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, that's dope. I don't know what that dude, is. Dude, there's a little bead necklace back in here. We're finding, <laughs> we're finding treasure in the most remote place. Oh, so they murder get. somebody back there. This is back unbelievable. Oh, cool. This is treasure hunting. And it's Look fine. at this. We're covered in muck and mud, finding treasure back and in an trash. ancient cave that's going to get flooded soon and will never be seen again. Two weeks. Except for some very brave, very brave scuba divers, which is not me. We're not going back in here. Whoa! What do you got? Joe! What, what, what? Joe, Joe, Joe! What? I see sunlight! Let's, we gotta go. We gotta go there. Yo! I see sunlight! Guys, we came way back in the cave here, so far back that it's a little bit scary, honestly. And then, no we're about to turn around. Rich shut his flashlight off and we could see sunlight coming out of the back of this cave. That means the they back of this the cave other over here has a vent and it gets up to the surface. Event. Probably up into the okay. woods, man. We got to get back up in here. We're going to go back up in there. Check that out right now. Let's call Colton. Colton! Come here! We found daylight! Colton, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. I'm doing pretty good, honestly, actually. I'm wow. doing better than I thought I was. Bro, Colton, could you ever have imagined that you'd be in Florida, way back, trying to escape out of a tiny little crack in the middle of the woods? That, you know, that, that pretty much tells you everything that I was not expecting to do in Florida. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. That much mud <laughs> anyway, crawling guys, in. Way so you'll back get dirty. in there. That's our I'll escape hole. Climb back in here. I, I think see. you will. I kind of think if you're going to get out of this cave, out of the back hole of this cave. Now look, I see the line here where the scuba divers were swimming to. Uh, this is crazy, guys. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, yeah, oh, that's good. I can see daylight, man. We're... So this looks like the exit. Colt, what do you see? To well, Olsen. Like there's a possibility. It does. We You're have right. A collapse or something that happens. Are you happened. serious? Yeah. And that's what oh, caused gosh, this. it so right does. Now. I don't know. Yo, this is Just scary. like the exit of Olsen. Bro. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is um, we dive. And I'll what I'll do is I'll put the picture right on the screen. Okay. Of Olsen sink? It really does look like that. It's so funny with those rocks that kind of go up and are a little bit in your way. It looks exactly like that. So Olsen sink is about 1,400 feet from the entrance of Peacock 1 at Peacock Springs in Florida. And what we do is we do a traverse, which is you enter a Peacock 1, you swim for 1,400 feet, uh, or about 1,500 if you count, you know, the the distance, f you know, from and to the goal line, and um, and then you exit at the at the sp at the you know at the sink, uh, and it's basically a hole in the ground like you saw in the pictures, and you catch up. Hey, how are we doing? You know, if you're diving open circuit, you you know check on your air. Are you doing okay? Everything good? Everybody happy? You could exit there, but it's pretty gnarly uh, to exit there. I've never exited at Olsen Sink, but I know that you could. 
Um, but basically, you just typically just head back and yeah. you go back to Peacock One. But it looks very, very similar to this one when you're coming out um, from the cave and you're going up to Olsen Sink. Looks very, very, very similar to this one. Freak out, man. When you say collab, dude. <laughs> These guys are I'm talking about, about to a collapse. Out, but it's, okay. yeah. well, let's get to the air. Dude, when you said collapse, you just triggered some serious like claustrophobia, brother. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Colton, why'd you say collapse, dude? You scared, dude. Guys, we have land ho! <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. This is crazy. Oh. Imagine swimming through that. Right. We do. Oh, way easier than what he's doing. At the right level, we would not have used All right, so what's really neat is that if the sun had not been at the exact level. So, so happy to see light and trees in the back of this cave. <laughs> let's get up there and let's get back out to the river. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. That's pretty genuine. Down here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get back to this river through this. Let's see it. Oh, we gotta. I gotta get up here. I gotta. I need some sunlight. Okay. I need some fresh air. <laughs> this is crazy. He needs some sunlight oh. and fresh air. Woo. You, know you guys. Panicking here. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh. Sunlight. You made it. Sorry. I oh my goodness. No, that's good, brother. Did you actually panic. <laughs> That, that freaked me out, man. When you said collapse, like I thought about, oh shoot, collapse? Amazing and how that many... just triggered something in me, man. I was like freaking out back then. It's amazing how many cave systems there are in Florida. Really, they're everywhere. The whole state underground is like a spaghetti bowl, somebody t described it to me as. Yeah. I saw it. You were legit started. freaking out. Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, Not really. I was getting nervous, brother. Let's just say that. This is crazy. Look at this. We just came up. Everything is crazy. <laughs> in this crack, in the middle of the woods. This is the back of the cave, you guys. Unbelievable. Just we got out here, now we're in the woods, system. but look at this. The woods and the foliage is so thick in here. I think, I think that we're stuck. And I think that we have got to go back through that cave to get back out of the river, man. So. It was pretty sketchy coming up through the cave. We gotta go back, we gotta do it, man. We gotta get back to the boat. Rich, yeah. what'd you see back up there? I mean, to be honest, it was really hard to see if that went anywhere. It's just woods and woods and woods. Don't, please Such don't fall blast. break your leg here, man. I, I, I do not want to have to carry you through this cave. Yeah, I would totally okay. do this if it was fun. You're a big guy, man, I don't have fun. All right, here we go, we're going back. You'll, um, we'll probably we'll want to get you some training before we go on the ascender because oh. you got to climb up a dangling rope and you're going to be muddy and all of that but i just think a couple sessions with david and then you'll be you'll be ready to go when we go it's so awesome yeah. into the cave what's up man you need a hand what do you need? Yeah. i just want to make sure step, i get no okay. your step brother all right watch your step i think we got out of line okay all good right. all right now we go back into the cave we're going back. Look at this. Descending down this hole. It's crazy. Covered in mud. Broken rock. Unbelievable, you guys. Sidewinder on 50s. This Unbelievable. Okay, now I got a knife. Shimmy backwards on my belly here. And his GoPro is not full of mud. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Take your mask off, whoa, whoa. Joe. Come on. You okay. I'm good. Yeah, it's just my wetsuit slippery, bro. I still got all the conditioner, so what? my wetsuit sliding around on my body. Can't get a grip. Yep. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Go in. What's up? Good job. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> good job. I, I I think he did. You know, he's really genuine. Like he's yeah. a really good guy. Yes. And I think that his reactions 
are real. That didn't look act. Like he, I think his face really did look like, hey man, I need a break. I need some fresh air. When he got to the <laughs> end there, when the guy talked about collapsing, yeah. his face changed. But dry caving is really fun for the reasons that I was trying to describe during it. You get muddy, you get slimy, you find passageways. It's a challenge like, how do I climb over this or down this and through that? And it's a blast. But some of them are advanced, just like in regular cave diving, where the only way in is to repel. And the only way out, if you repel, repel yeah. is to ascend on an ascender. It's just a dangling rope and you have a system. It's, a, it's called an ascender system. So when you slide it up, it then relocks. Yeah. So you can take your legs and push up to the next level, slide it up, push your legs up, yeah. slide it up, push your legs up. And yeah. that's the only way out. You're dangling, looking down, you're dangling on this rope as you climb back up the rope. There is no other way out. We wow. do those with David. Oh, man, that sounds horrific. Um <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, just going back, and again, I don't know if Joe will will watch this reaction or not. I hope he does. I like Joe. I mean, I think he's great. I think he, he uh, he's very genuine, like you said. I don't think he needs to clickbait because, like, this video alone has over a million views in his channel. That's awesome. A lot of people clicked on it. But if you look at... And I, I don't have access to his metrics, but I assume the conversion, the, the, the people watching the video and converting to subscribers is very low. The click through rate is very low because once people start watching and they realize that this is not a cave that is flooding and whatever, like he's saying on the video, just like the other videos where he's claiming he's on a deep underwater bell in a cave or whatever, and he's a blue grotto, you know, people will start losing trust and trust is you know one of the things that we care deeply about mm -hmm. here in dive talk um i don't know just as a conversation between you and i, I yeah I, i'm not finding it to be that click baity or a trap as you are mm -hmm. you're you have a lot of knowledge about caves and you're been trained and so forth i think I don't think he said anything that's that inaccurate. I think he did a really good job with this. It is a cave. It ha it has flooded. There are a lot of passageways. There are a lot of tight areas. You do have to be careful. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not finding it to be that offensive, that much of an exaggeration that you are. But some other cavers that are actually cave divers may to your point because they're in the know but i don't know and i have no ability whatsoever to make a statement that whether or not this converts for him or not i think it's entertaining yeah i enjoyed watching him and i think he's super genuine in it that's my reaction honestly I, honestly i wish he would because it seems like he enjoys it a lot he has some dives and in, in other caves and whatnot or in other places I just wish he got trained and did it for real, you know? And and a lot of people in, on the comments suggested as well. It's like, Joe, why don't you go get trained? And he's like, mm. oh, it's a lot of gear, a lot of time, a lot of effort. True. It is. That is true. There's no shortcut to become a cave diver. <laughs> I mean, at least not to do it safely. You can always drop a tank and do it. There's no cave diving police, but we know how those end up, right? Yeah. Um, so do it safely. Definitely right? invest the time and, and uh, get certified. So anyway, that was it. That Good was one. our reaction for uh, uh, exploring in uh, Florida cave. I hope these caves get flooded and uh, we get a chance to go dive it. That looks would be a blast. Cool. Looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to see you on the ascender. No, that. Well, you're going to have to sit down for that one. One hand at a time. Don't, don't rush when we're, when we're on it. Take Thank you, everyone, for watching. That's a horrible idea, Woody. As always, we'll see you in the next one.